I'm joined now by Jeremy Mazur, who is a senior policy advisor at Texas 2036 in Austin, and we're talking about energy. Just last week, here in Houston, there was the first ever uh, Texas Grid Investment Summit, where they're trying to work on getting private investment to help Texas meet growing energy demands. This week, we're talking about your new energy dashboard, which takes a look at various paths to the future for the state of Texas as it relates to energy and what it means. It's helpful for anyone who wants to get online and interact with it. Is that right? That's right, Tom. What we developed were what we think are four viable, practicable scenarios for Texas energy future. And we want to look at the data to explore what are the opportunities and the potential with regard to total energy production, what this means for our state's economy, and we want to look at emissions as well. And this looks at these four different options. One of them is status quo. Another is digging deeper into fossil fuels. Another is some renewables or an energy mix. And then one is leaning heavily into renewables. Is that pretty close to accurate? That's pretty, well, it's a way I would phrase it. You're right. We have the status quo where there's moderate improvements in technology and cost. We have an advanced fossil case, which assumes that we see more oil and gas production combined with improved costs and technologies associated with oil and gas production. And on the flip side, we have an energy transition scenario that looks at what happens when we see cost and technology improvements within the renewable energy sector. That includes wind, solar, and batteries. And then our last scenario is what we call energy expansion, which is an all of the above energy portfolio where all of Texas's energy technologies, wind, solar, battery, oil, and gas, all of them see cost improvements and technology enhancements that contribute to increased production over time. I was interested to read that regardless of which path Texas takes, that there are more jobs and that the economy expands. That's right. What's what's interesting is you got to remember that the, the Texas's energy sector accounts for about 30% of the state's economy or affects 30% of the state's economy. What's fascinating about these data is that when you see slight changes in the composition of our energy portfolio, what technologies make up that mix, we start to see differences between the different scenarios in terms of job growth, GDP growth, so total earnings and state and local tax revenues, which means that how we put our energy future together will have a significant bearing on future prosperity in our state. So the state tends to lead the nation in gas and in oil and in wind, and I think is second in solar. What kind of future do you see in terms of Texas leading on, on all of these going forward, given that there is this renewed interest in producing more natural gas power plants. Our data suggests that Texas will continue to lead the nation in energy abundance. We have vast proven oil and gas reserves within the state, and our state's oil and gas sector across all of our models is still going to be a critical player in, in delivering energy to the states and the world's and the nation's energy market. But on top of that, our, our energy portfolio offers has an opportunity to expand significantly. And here there's opportunities with regard to greater renewable generation from wind and solar, using batteries to harness that power to use when the, the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. But there's also opportunities available within hydrogen for powering our heavy duty vehicle fleets and for carbon capture, for removing carbon, uh, carbon dioxide emissions from our atmosphere. For whom did you design the dashboard? We designed this dashboard in order to come up with some data to help set the table to guide state policymakers and state practitioners or industries a discussion about where we need to go with our with regard to our energy future. We see that there's a there's a, there's a false debate that's going on in, in Austin right now, and there's the impression that. You either need all oil and gas or all renewables. But when we look at these data, the future of Texas's energy is really this all of the above scenario where we're going to need oil and gas. There's no question about it. But there's plenty of opportunities offered by renewables to offer cleaner energy, lower electricity prices, and greater electricity generation overall. And so while this is intended for policymakers uh, and decision makers in Austin, anybody could go to this dashboard and learn from it. 
That's right. I mean, part of our mission here at Texas 2036 is not only to engage policymakers here in Austin, but to help inform the public at large and industry stakeholders with regard to like, what does the data say about our public policy problems? And what does the data say are can be some good common sense, practical policy solutions for us to move forward? And so that's why we're very proud to uh, uh, unveil this project this week. We've been working on this for over two years, and it's involved the incorporation of several complicated modeling programs, multiple public data sets, and developing these models that provide us some keen insights with regard to our state's energy future. And nobody's really ever done it quite this way before, have they? Not to our knowledge. I think what's unique about this is that we take a, a, a level eye view at the data we incorporate that, those data into our models, and our models take into account you know, what the state's energy system puts out and how those energy system outputs affect our states and regional economies. And so we think we offer a one-of-a-kind one view of how changes in the pathways for a state's energy sector are what it means in the long term for all Texans in terms of economic growth, development, power, and, and quality of life in Texas.